Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams speaking out after the subway melee video goes viral. Our Monica Guy is at J Street Metro Tech subway station with what he says needs to happen. The incident began above ground when a group of teens chased a young woman into the subway. Then someone sprayed mace. Officers from the 84th Precinct responded. The group ended up in the subway station, and that's where the brawl happened. What happened in that subway over the weekend is something that should not happen in the city. These are everyday American children, and they do things that American children do. Some of the things we may not like, some of the things we may dislike, but no matter what they do, they should not be punched in the face. Brooklyn Barrow President and former NYPD officer Eric Adams is calling for an investigation into what happened and says the incident highlights the need to improve police training and provide education to kids. I reached out some of the, to some of the old members of 100 Blacks in Law Enforcement and they're going to a whole a series of these conversations to teach young people on how to interact or when they have an interaction with police. As I indicated, this is something that is not taught in school, often is not taught at home, and when these encounters happen, we're, we're always being reactive instead of proactive, and we're going to reinstitute what we did many years ago to this new generation of young people. These are our children. The training is tentatively scheduled for four Tuesday afternoon at Brooklyn Barrow Hall. Five teens were arrested and charged with resisting arrest. One of them, who is 18, is charged with assaulting a police officer. The NYPD says no disciplinary action is being taken against the officers involved. Reporting from Brooklyn for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy. All right, thanks, Monica. Well, we definitely want to bring in our A-plus panel to weigh in. Allison Young, Republican strategist. Happy Monday, Allison. Thanks, Nate. Good to be here. And Garland Nixon, radio talk show host. Garland, so let's start with you. You, you, you previously had a career in law enforcement, yeah. 20 plus years. When you saw the video, what, what do you make of it? Well, I, here's what I made, I made of it. And I'm glad a lot of agencies are training in de-escalation now because that's the opposite of de-escalation. Mm -hmm. You don't run into a crowd throwing punches. So I looked at it and I saw, uh, and I saw that the, air, the, the officers made some significant mistakes there that could have been more de-escalation. And I'm glad it turned out. It, it didn't get worse than it, than, than it did. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Allison, we don't know what happened prior to. We don't know, the, the video doesn't show, you know, the, the full story, but when you talk about the NYPD continually trying to improve community relations, this video doesn't look good, it's concerning. Well, it doesn't look good on either side because also, you know, so Garland addressed the cops, but uh, from the kids' point of view, as a parent, I'm going, why are all these teenagers on the platform at, you know, quarter after two in the morning? Like there, I can't, I want to know what happened before this, that it got to this point, that it was, that everyone's in a brawl and there's all these people around. And then the other troubling thing is they see kids and officers falling to the ground and half of them are pulling out phones and videotaping it. Why are we in that space where now it's whatever's going down, don't help, film it. Well, so to, to, to comment on that, some would say in this day and age, you have to pull out your cell phone to capture video of it because you just never know. The police may tell one side and then the only evidence you have is what you record on your iPhone. And let's not forget the Walter Scott incident in um, South Carolina, where the only reason that there really was justice there was because it was filmed. So I actually do recommend people that if they see incidents going on involving the police, it's OK, but make sure you stay far enough mm -hmm. away from it that you're not in any way interrupting the activities of the law enforcement officers but I think it's a good idea it's a protection for everyone involved because if you're an officer and something happens and you didn't do anything wrong and it's filmed it can be great it could be to your benefit absolutely well police are investigating we'll hopefully um, see what happens after this thanks guys thank you